one of you is the oldest. I am. You're the oldest. 16 minutes. So proud. Isn't 16 it? minutes. Yeah, which is, oh yeah. I mean, I get to be the boss. But I thought the much. older we get, you wouldn't want to say it so proudly. <laughs> <laughs> My mom had no idea she was having twins. Um, she didn't know. Didn't know at all. Okay. Barely 19. Um, I came out and she was like, that's it. And then the nurse was like, I think I hear another heartbeat. And she's like, well, I'm not pushing. And I was like, <laughs> mom, you are. She literally said, I already pushed once. <laughs> well, the baby needs to come out. <laughs> but they saved the best for last. Oh, okay. I have to hear that all the time. <laughs> and I then I can. <laughs> now, see, I'm close to my big sister, too. We're not twins. And Julia live all the way on the other side of the city. But you two live on the same block? The same, same block. block. Really? We, we're, yeah, 400 feet away. And it's so funny because our husbands totally eye roll. But we used to be across the street. Mm -hmm. And now we've realized we prefer that because we'd open yeah. up our doors and like wave at each other and be like, wine? <laughs> Babies are down. And now it's like I'm 400 feet to the right, which is OK. I mean, it's two minute walk. But yeah, I, I miss being across the street. I know, especially with little <laughs> kids. It's just what it, it's easier when you're right well, there. And the monitors, so when the boys were like, little babies. Um, whenever we weren't nursing anymore and we would meet for wine, mm -hmm. um, she'd be on one side of the sidewalk and I'd be the other where the monitors would reach and we'd be having our wine. Oh, okay. that and sounds like a plan. Would, yeah, the neighbors would always look at us and be like, all right, fellas, <laughs> they're having their wine. But the funny part is when we were growing up, we were always like, we swear we're never going to be those twins. And we realized we're those twins. We are. <laughs> like, yeah, you're it's those kind of scary. <laughs> Have you ever like not lived so close or you know, I mean, F in her 20s. Well, it, like, mine was 30s, too. I was in Florida, in oh, San yes, Diego. that's right. Yeah. And you were mainly in Phoenix. Yeah, so we definitely had a, there was a decade there. Okay. Where we weren't, but we were wrestling every day with each yes. other. I mean, five nights a week, so we needed that break. Yes. And so, and then Two filming days. the reality show, it was like <laughs> we were still always together. Of course, we got to ask this question. Do you ever switch places with each other? So we used to. Yeah, I mean, well, we are known for an iconic twin magic. That is true. In the wrestling we, ring. Yes. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's funny because as kids we try to do it, but I felt like our teachers really caught Elementary on to school, it. Elementary school, middle school, they, yes. yeah, they, they could tell. Yes. But college, however, oh, you know, you don't really have that intimate relationship with the majority of your teachers. And so when I was better at a subject, Which I would test for rare. Brie. Okay. Oh, my and God. And then yes. Brie, yeah, we did that a few times where we tested for each other. <laughs> <laughs> or like they would drop you after if, if you weren't there four times. So then we would be there for each okay. other. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. some perks in that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. And then, well, you could tell the other time so, that we never did again. Yeah. So there was <gasps> this time where I was dating someone, but I was in traffic in San Diego and there was this really good looking guy in a truck and he was like trying to get my attention to get my number. And in my head, I was like, I can't let this guy go. Like, even though I'm dating someone, so I'm just gonna be Nikki for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so I pretended I was yeah. her, gave him my number, and then I went back to the dorms and I was like, you have to go on a date with this guy. He's super cute. Like, so anyways, long story short. I did. We, uh -huh. And I was did. like, okay, great. And then I decided to tell him the whole story and he was so weirded out. He goes, wait, I met your sister first? And I was like, oh yeah, my twin sister, but it's okay because she's dating someone. So, you know, I just <laughs> took her place. And he was like... Wait, what? And then there was never a second date. I think that was like, yeah. And Maybe. I was like, let's not do that again. Yeah, it, it was a little weird. It was kind of fun, though, for I me. mean, we thought it was great, yeah. but, you know, we're like, wow, oh, thanks. Oh, my God, the things twins do. This is interesting. We yeah. get good no. insight. OK, you started out really young. Did you, you start out performing in malls first? Well, so my sister and I, we were a part of this dance group called Fancy Prancy Dancers. <laughs> I know. Um, my parents, they were in the, they were in the army uh -huh. and on base, they were having auditions for this dance group. And my sister and I were like, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and, you know, try out. We ended up getting in the group and we would perform in malls. We would perform at some of the army conventions. And I still like remember some of the dance moves. Do you? Salt and Pepper, they had the, the song, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, See, uh, I could be in a group. So anyway, it was fun. It was fun. I feel like that's <laughs> how I got rid of my like stage fright. Is it how you got... practice? So you started dancing first. First, and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. See, I missed that part because I got the voices, but I didn't know the fancy yeah. fancy moves. Well, you know, I do a lot of dancing on TikTok and all that kind of stuff. Don't make me ask for a dance move now. Oh, oh yes, and okay. you know, um, in Texas. 
There were just a lot of pageants. Are there anybody from Texas in the in the crowd? I'm sure. Okay. See, I know so there, there's like a lot of pageants, and uh, my kind of talent was. Oh, there's my sister and I. Um, my talent was dancing, and so I did um, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and I had the the outfit and everything, and I learned how to moonwalk. Can you still moonwalk? <laughs> <laughs> I like to have a lot of fun, <laughs> especially with Instagram and TikTok and all that. You look like you were having a lot of fun. Yeah. So you guys grew up, like, how old were you when you all first started? You know what I mean? Um, in the industry? Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, I would say we were probably like 12 years old. Yeah. 12 years old. 12. So we what was it like going out that young? It was, you know, it was it was interesting, and, and I have this funny story where, you know, my sister and I, we had just came out on, you know, Sister, Sister. Um, we were in New York, and we used to have to have a bodyguard, and um, we just wanted to feel normal, you know, like normal kids, and we ended up going to the most normal place in New York City, which was Times Square. And I remember, <laughs> I don't know if it was like a busload of kids, but they just started running after my sister and I. And the only place that we could find like refuge was in a pharmacy. And so, I don't know, we, it, it felt like we were like the Beatles, you know, back then. <laughs> yeah, just... uh, you are. Did, did you ever take the place of your sister while shooting like On Sister one? Sister? Yeah. No. No? But on Twitches, our Halloween, <gasps> you know? <laughs> yes. Yes. I was shooting Strong Medicine uh -huh. at the time, and uh, I wasn't able to, to shoot that scene. Uh -huh. So she played me. I was wearing a pink dress, and I have this mask at a Halloween party. And yeah, she hated it. She was like, <laughs> I don't like playing you, Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it just shows that she's very, very confident in, you know, who she is. And that's great when you're an identical twin. You know yes. I mean? So I applaud her for that. But yeah, she killed it again. Yeah, she did a great job playing me, oh. even though she didn't enjoy it. Yes, <laughs> she did. So did y'all switch places when you were younger? We looked a lot alike. We Actually, I got the same clothes as him, just in different colors. He wore blue, and I always wore everything else. Which, which the, the better thing was, this is all cute and everything, but when we were teenagers, if there was a girl that Drew had a crush on, uh -huh. I would put his clothes on and make an absolute fool out of myself. <laughs> and then she would never, ever call him, Thanks talk to him, anything. Oh, like was it to embarrass him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what to brothers do. Fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we, we looked a lot more. I mean, he didn't, we didn't have a beard back then. I mean, when I tried to grow a beard, it was like three hairs. But uh, so we looked really alike back then. Halloween was big for you guys growing up? Oh, yeah. Absolutely really? Huge. We were obsessed as kids, like making all the decor we put around the house. Mom oh. and dad would dress up Frankenstein. Our mom would which... make any costume we wanted. So I wanted like a robot that could shoot his arms out. Uh -huh. She would make it. Like she was just she so. Make that? Oh, yeah. Everything. She used like a like dryer, like the dryer venting that expands. She would use that for the arms and anything we could yeah. dream up, she would make it. And that made us get so excited for Halloween. That's creative. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Okay, we got some photos of some of these costumes. Oh, we do. I want to see this. We got to yeah. call that. Well, this, there's a couple of clowns. Oh, Nothing's really changed. We're still a couple of clowns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, always love the superhero things. Do y'all still like dressing up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, Linda do? and her mom are very creative, and they, they made pumpkin outfits for parking us. Oh. Wait, what oh, is this? I mean. Uh, Sorry. Listen, this is you guys? Gal Gadot has nothing yeah. on my legs as Wonder Woman. By the way, um, this is just this is just a random Tuesday. This was not. Oh, no. We so we were doing press in New York, and it was <laughs> themed Wonder Woman. So we each Drew was classic Wonder Woman. I was dressed up as the newer version, and then we had to immediately fly from New York to Toronto. Yeah. So we went through the airport, and because we film in advance for a lot of uh, press. Uh -huh. We, it was a month before Halloween, and we were dressed yeah, like we that. We went through security the like, that. like that. I had nowhere to hide anything. There was when they're yeah, wanting us, they're like, <laughs> beep. They're, they're like, no thanks, go through. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.